Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTV Pyramid Reborn. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We've got our Awakened Draconium that we needed uh, to do the last thing for Draconic Evolution, make this Draconic Fusion Injector. So, uh, let's see here. Draconic Fusion Injector. We need four diamonds, two wyvern cores, uh, a wyvern fusion injector, and then an awakened draconium block. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, we need oh, two of those, and that's it, right? And then we just need our uh, one of these guys. So let's break that, throw it in here. And then I'm just going to do this. So we'll go do, 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 oh, split there. Pedestal tier. What? Pedestal? Oh, we need. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like. What's going on? Yeah, I forgot that this is a basic one right here in the middle. Should just take a minute. Needs about, I think it's like 1.5 million RF or something like that. And there we go. That should give us our draconic fusion injector that we can then put over there. And life is good. And then we just have to deal with the pneumatic craft stuff, which is going to be an adventure in and of itself since Pneumaticraft is not a mod that I am familiar with basically at all. But it's also the very last thing, so I keep getting extra stuff. <laughs> Which I'm not supposed to, but whatever. It's fine. Um, let's throw that stuff away. We'll go boop, boop. And... Have you registered? Yep, registered. Oh, you actually don't get a reward for this one. It just, it, it's just done. Okay, cool. So then there's this, the programmer. And the programmer is going to be interesting, as I said. So let's see here, programmer. So we need five red plastic. And red plastic, rose red cactus green, liquid plastic in a plastic mixer. I, oh, it said sneak for info. Plastic mixer is used to melt down plastic into liquid plastic or to solidify liquid plastic into plastic. Using red, green, or blue dye, any color of plastic can be crafted. Just supply these dyes and click on the desired color of plastic in the plastic se selection tab. Note that white plastic does not require any dye. Okay, so how do we get liquid plastic? Looks like... To make liquid plastic, we need a... Thermopneumatic processing plant. So thermo pneumatic. You know we should really be doing this over here <laughs> at our refined storage system. There we go. So we have everything we need to make that. Let's do so. A thermopneumatic processing plant is used to process liquids into other liquids. LPG and coal together in this machine can produce liquid plastic. It can also be used in fuel cracking. Heavy fuels can be cracked into lighter ones, diesel, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically LPG and coal together can make liquid plastic. Okay, so how do we get LPG? LPG can also be made in a thermopneumatic processing plant using gasoline, which can be made from kerosene, which can be made from diesel, which can be made from... Holy cow, what a rabbit hole. Okay, the other option is a refinery. And you get LPG from oil. How do we get... We can get oil using the Amadron tablet. And that's basically it. Because I don't think there's a way to get oil otherwise? I mean, we could get oil sand, 
or oil shale from industrial foregoing from the mining laser. And that's pretty much it. So our options are the Amadron tablet or the other thingy. Although I don't know if this oil here, oil sand uh, from, from th the oil from Thermal Foundation, I don't know if that's compatible with the oil from Pneumaticraft. I don't know if they will, uh, if they're like ore dictionary or whatever. So let's try the Amadron tablet. Let's grab some emeralds. We have this thing all set up still, I believe. So I want to buy oil. I don't want to sell oil. I want to buy it. They are selling an emerald in place of oil. I it, see. Yeah, here we go. Is this uh, not set to the right thing? Oh, it needs a. T I need. A, I need a tank. I see. Okay, so let's make a tank. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. How big of a tank can we make? Maybe, you know what, let's just make a, a black hole tank. Then we know that we will be able to have enough and I and I can spend like all of, I mean, this is the last thing that we need to do. This is the last thing on the quest line. So let's make, ah, really? There we go. Um, One more of those. Black hole tank. Okay, good. So we'll put that right here. And now, right click a tank with your Amadron. I, I did. There we go. Now will it work? Yes, there we go. So let's buy um, there, let's buy 64 buckets of this. 64 buckets of oil. That should be plenty. So we'll order that. I've got a stack of emeralds in here. It's one emerald for one bucket. So that should work. It should just come take the emeralds out of here, right? taking my emeralds and then it'll come back and give me 64 buckets of oil okay so then we need a refinery which looks fairly easy to make there we go a refinery is used to process a fluid into different fluids for example diesel kerosene gasoline lpg can be processed from oil. LPG is used in a uh, to produce plastic. Either two, three, or four refineries need to be stacked on top of each other to work. With two refineries, diesel is produced in the bottom refinery and LPG on top. With four refineries, all fuels are produced. The latter is much more efficient. The more heat you apply to re the refinery, the faster it runs. Okay, so it sounds like we might as well make four of them. I think. Have you given me my oil yet? You have. Lovely. So let's go one, two, three, four. Okay. And then this is going to need, <coughs> excuse me, apply more heat by adding blocks that generate heat around this machine and pump in fluid. Okay. So if we look at Pneumaticraft. I imagine we're going to need pressure tubes used to transport air. What can I use to transport fluid? Can I just use like fluid ducts? Is that a thing that will work? Uh, let, let's sleep real quick. 
And for those of you who want to see this as like, a, 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 I, I apologize for me not knowing like how this works. I've never done this before and I think it'll be kind of cool to try and figure it out together. <laughs> so um, if you're not the type of person that enjoys that sort of thing, who's who's very much uh, more in favor of like, you want to, you want me to demonstrate that I know everything about this game of modded Minecraft, then like, it, this is probably not the thing for you. But anyway, okay, so yeah, you can just use a fluiduct. Standard fluiduct will fill this thing up with oil. Good. So now we need to heat this thing up. So let's go back to Pneumaticraft. And let's see what options we have. Air compressor, flux compressor, liquid compressor. Oh. You can just, oh, well, I mean, if we can make this, we can probably make <laughs> what we actually need. So maybe that's a little bit farther down. Anyway, um, I need to find some sort of heater. Vortex to heat sink. Disperses heat into the air. It only connects to the block it's on. So if I make one of these, or if I make a couple of these, will that work for this? Let's just see. Let's go... Actually, it disperses heat. It gets rid of heat, I think is what it's saying. What if I just do a search for heat? Aha! Heat sink. External heater. Other stuff. Well, you know what? Let's try it. Let's make four of these guys. And let's just see if this actually works. Those start heating up. Temperature, 22 Celsius. Okay, so, uh, which is exactly what it was before. So that's not working. So we need heat. This machine requires or produces heat. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Think of a vortex tube, but also lava. Oh. So if we just put this thing next to lava... It should work, is what it's looking like. So, in that case... Um... You. Do that. I want you to... No? Can you not suck the oil back out? Am I gonna lose this oil? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I was concerned. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so in that case, let's grab the oil. Uh, and since this is going to require lava, we probably want to do this somewhere far away. So let's grab an angel block. Grab a couple stacks of cobble. And let's just set this up uh, over here, I guess. This is fine. The big thing is I don't want the lava to light our wooden base on fire because that would be bad. Uh, so, let's see here. We'll go... How big does this need to be? It's going to be four... Let's see. If we go... Boop. Boop. Oop. Oh, boop. 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 Like so. Uh, I'd actually really like this facing this way instead. Okay. And then let's go... Like this. And let's... I, I don't know if it needs to be a lava source block, but let's just grab a bucket. Uh, do I have... Hmm. I don't know if I have a tank 
that has lava in it. Like, I know I've, I generate lava over here. I mean, it should be fine. Let's just grab these. And we'll put one there, one there. Oh, and now the temperature has skyrocketed. Oh, but it turns it into obsidian? Really? Okay. So what if I do this? Pour it all the way down? Still turns it into obsidian. Okay. Interesting. How much LPG has that gotten us? Altogether, like, 250. That's not much. It said it would also work with torches. Can we just do that? I mean, it is faster. Do the torches burn out? They don't appear to. So what if we just do this? That did pretty much nothing. So I, I don't know how hot this has to be. I mean, lava seems to be like a good option. Let's look at this heat thing again. Okay. To cool down machines, to cool down, uh, remove the heat sources, and or speed of placing down ice. Hmm. So a vortex tube. What is that? Vortex cannon. Vortex tube. Here we go. Splits incoming air into hot and cold. One side will be heated, the other side cooled. Mind that heat will slowly leak between... Hmm. How much of this LPG do we actually need? That's what I should find out. LPG. Used to make plastic. 100 of it and coal will make a thousand liquid plastic. And then a thousand plastic will make one red plastic, I think? So I, I don't think we actually need that much like I think we can just go like this this thing will heat up super hot and it I mean we, I, we to make the thing the programmer we only need six pieces of plastic. The turbine blades don't require plastic. This printed circuit board is going to need plastic, but I think it only needs five because each of these components here require it. And then there's this. Okay. Okay, so if I get like 10,000, that should do the trick, or uh, not 10,000, if I get like 1,000 LPG, that should be enough. And I think the LPG is stored in the highest level. So all, we, all I need to do basically is keep putting in lava i think <laughs> i think let's just oh and you know what i gotta remember we have vein miner <laughs> i'm being foolish mining these like one at a time but uh it's okay so we'll go boop boop oh i'm on fire i'm not on fire we're good and we can just fill that in the rest of the way. Okay, 
So that will give us the LPG. Now, next step, thermo pneumatic processing plant. This is the thing that actually makes plastic. Um, I got stuff going into stuff here. You're all going into this. There we go. Give me that back. Fill in that hole. Over here is where we set up some pressure stuff. So I guess we'll set it up over here as well. Um, I'm a little worried because I have a feeling that this is going to require a lot less pressure. So maybe we should set this up somewhere else. Um, maybe like right here or something. That's fine. Um, okay. So let's go grab these and then go air compressor. And let's make a couple of furnaces. I should probably make more of these tubes as well, since it seems like they're a fairly common crafting component. Oh, I'm out of compressed iron ingots. But I can, I can make more by exploding iron. Okay, that's fine. Let's sleep. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, TNT. Flint and steel. Give me three stacks of iron. And I think I'm making, yeah, I'm making more iron over here. So this is fine. Uh, I need to take that off. And then we put a TNT right here. Light it. There we go. And compressed iron ingots. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll just throw those back in. And make another air compressor. Okay. So, let's see. If I break you, um, we can probably set all of this up over here. This should be fine. So, let's say you go there. These two go here. And then we want our pressure tubes like so. We should also dump basically all of this stuff into, yeah, all the rest of this we should dump into our system, because then I also need to take all of this iron and dump that all into the system, along with all of this gold. And all of this iron. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Uh, oh, and I needed coal. That was a thing. So let's grab some coal. Uh, let's stop making a little bit of iron. And start making coal over there. And then I'll throw some coal in here. And looks like the pressure's going up. So if I grab a bucket, can I just grab a full bucket of LPG? I cannot. Okay. Give me the obsidian. And boop. There we go. And that should fill up pretty quick. Maybe not quite quick enough, just quick enough. Beautiful. All right, I have a bucket. Oh, that's diesel. 
I, I don't want diesel. I wanted LPG. I guess LPG is... LPG is this one, isn't it? I'm so confused. Why? Okay, tell you what. We're making this overly complicated. I'll just fill up another tank? Or is that not a thing? Can you not? I don't think you can. Okay. Well, hmm. In that case, give me cobblestone. And we'll just run it over here, I guess. <laughs> this is gonna look terrible, but fine. So, you. And the pressure's all escaping. That's fine, whatever. So we'll go, do, do. That one goes here. Pressure tubes like so. And then I guess we'll just try using fluid ducts. Fluid duct. Servo. Okay, let's try this. So we'll go there. This. Like so. Hey, it is getting LPG. Okay, good. So now... If I do that, this thing should start getting pressure. Yep, it is getting pressure. Okay, good, good, good. So let's look at the liquid plastic thing. Um, pla plastic. There we go. So that is going to ultimately make a thousand buckets. But it needs to be warm. It needs heat. So it doesn't actually need pressure. It needs heat. Okay. So how can, can we just heat that up the same way? Like if I put a lava bucket here, will that work? Or is that going to ruin things? We do that. Oh yeah, then it gets real hot. How hot does it... It says it only has to be... Oh, and it needs coal as well. There we go. I get it. It makes sense to me now. So you put the coal in. The lava does its thing. This turns into liquid plastic. Let's go grab... A tank. Just a small one. Out of here. And another servo. We'll put this tank here with a fluid duct. And then this guy should start filling up with liquid plastic. Right? That should be 10,000 buckets of liquid plastic. Am I right? Oh, it is. We've done it. We've figured out the plastic. I'm actually Um so I have tried like I looked briefly at some tutorials for this and none of them really covered the information that I wanted or needed so I didn't like I didn't really I figured this out mostly on my own um and with the handy tool tips that are within the game that helps too um but yeah this is uh, I'm I'm excited we have plastic so now going forward we're gonna have to figure out how to take this plastic and turn it into the materials that we need and all that other kind of stuff but unfortunately, guys, I'm out of time for this episode, so I gotta call this one here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.